Hi everyone, I'm Purnima Ramakrishnan, Senior Solutions Architect at Elastic. So first of all, let's start with what is observability. So it's not a technology and it's often confused with monitoring. Monitoring just tells you only when something goes wrong. For example, you get an alert that CPU is over 80%. That is monitoring. But, it, but whereas observability helps you to detect the root cause of the problem, in our case, it not only sends an alert when CPU usage is over 80%, but also helps you to understand what caused the CPU usage to go high and how you can prevent such issues from happening in the future. And also how you can leverage machine learning to detect the unknown unknowns. So observability is an attribute of a system that you build, much like usability, high availability, and stability. The goal of designing and building an observable system is to make sure uh, that when it's running, operators responsible for it can detect, detect undesir undesirable behaviors and have actionable information to pin down the root cause in an effective manner. So observability is a very uh, near and dear topic to me coming from a support engineer background and also being on call several times in the past and working on business critical issues, I've often used several tools to resolve uh, high severity incidents. The challenge with uh, using different tools is that each tool renders different set of metrics and information about the incident that is being triaged. So stitching all this information together and coming up with a coherent analysis is such a cumbersome task. To top it off, different teams have different set of preferred tools and we end up not talking the same language. And often time is taken away from quickly resolving the issues for the customer, but instead trying to understand what each of the different tools um, are trying to tell. So tool sprawl is a big challenge in teams. To make uh, situations more complex, uh, technology is constantly evolving, uh, right from like we were in monolith, uh, we had monolith apps to now microservices and serverless environment and cloud and containerized and so on. And often companies have a very hybrid setup that leads to organizations having several vendors and, and different pricing models. But Elastic's approach to observability is through a lens of a customer. And also with us having a very strong uh, developer and open source community and background ourselves, we understand the challenges the industry faces and have come up with a platform that addresses the customers, our developers, essentially uh, practitioners' needs. Among core observability features, we have engineered uh, comprehensive coverage for your services with the ability to see everything starting with an uh, aggregate bird's eye view with service maps where you can immediately see what's normal and healthy and so on. And then with integrated machine learning based health indicators that appear right on the service map, it lets you to call your attention to many uh, to any anomalies that need uh, investigation. So with Elastic, we are focusing on the unification at the deepest level, that is the data layer. So we're bringing all this data into a single powerful data store that is Elastic Search Cluster. So there are uh, no pillars, just, just data in one singular platform. So the unification at the data level gives us a strong single foundation uh, that creates force multiplier through all layers of exploration and analysis, thereby helping our customers to simplify and control spend with our resource-based consumption pricing model. So the next question is, how do you get started with Elastic Observability? So getting started is very simple, straightforward, um, and our data collection is extremely flexible in the sense that we have a polyglot uh, language support with open source Elastic agents for Java, .NET, uh, Ruby, Go, and so on, plus uh, support for open telemetry, open tracing, and Jaeger. So now let's, let me show you on my cluster uh, how you can deploy the agent. Um, so right here, I uh, have this cl uh, cluster deployed. Deploying the agent is three easy steps. Firstly, you deploy the unified fleet agent, uh, also referred as the elastic agent. And secondly, you would add APM as an integration. 
And the third step is installing your application specific uh, language agent and then you're off the races. So let me show you that. Um, so here you have, when I go to the fleet within the cluster, takes you to this view where, where it, is, it is a centralized management for all the agents that you have deployed. And click on add agent and you would tie it to a, either def default policy or you create a new agent policy. Um, and then you can run it as fleet or run it as a standalone, running it as fleet is a recommended method. And then you would uh, install the elastic agent on your host. Depending on the type of host, you you have the necessary instructions. And once you have uh, run the uh, corresponding command, command line commands, uh, you can see the um, agent. It would say that you know uh, you can. It takes you to the view where you can see the agent listed. So here I already have uh, the agent uh, deployed, fleet agent deployed. So that's step number one. The next step is to add the integration. So we have 290 plus integrations, right? From AWS to Azure, GCP, or any custom level, custom integrations or logs and so on. And uh, you name it, you would find it uh, pretty much all the integration options that you're looking for. And Elastic APM is also one other integration. So once you have the fleet agent deployed and uh, you get to the language specific uh, agent deployment. So once you have that, uh, uh, you once you run that in your uh, environment, you can you would see the APM view like this. And it would show the different apps and the environment it's deployed in and the high level latency and throughput and you're done and you can start troubleshooting using our uh, elastic observability. To sum it all up, um, elastic observability or allows you to deliver complete end-to-end -end observability in a single open platform with a pricing model that fits your observability uh, and modernization ob objectives. Our goal is to help you deliver reliable and optimal performance for your end customers by providing you a key to success uh, for your business through a unified platform. So thank you all for taking the time and watching this video.